On November 6, 2022, a trough system drenched the island's northern region. The torrential downpours triggered flash floods and caused land slippage. Floodwaters swept away vehicles and invaded homes and businesses. The rushing floodwaters turned debris and improperly disposed solid waste into torpedoes, damaging property and impeding roadways. Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre and Deputy Director of the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, on November 7th, apprised the press on the government's response to the affected households and businesses. The Ministry of Infrastructure had maintained the schedule for desilting, especially as prescribed during preparation for the hurricane season. Despite the heavy rainfall, there were many things in the rivers that were not supposed to be there. Old stoves, discarded fridges, fridges, plastic bottles in the rivers. And once more, we are begging and urging the public of St. Lucia not to dispose these, mater these materials in the waterways and the rivers. The trough dumped about six inches of rainfall in Rodney Bay, Grosley. About four inches of rainfall was recorded in the Forestier area, and more than three inches of rainfall was recorded at the George F. L. Charles Airport in the capital. The waterways, a lot too many incidences of clogged waterways because of garbage. Persons dispose of the garbage in the waterways or to the back of their homes where, where it is close to the waterways. So once it has overflowed banks, everything gets washed away. And these things also compromise the roads and the bridges. So again, we're pleading with you to please dispose of garbage. Solid waste has um, bulk garbage once a month. Please ensure that you know what dates your, your garbage um, bulk garbage is being collected. Improper waste disposal exacerbated the flash flood events of November 6. The intensity of the trough system also underscored the island's vulnerability to the global climate crisis. Climate change is real. These weather events are going to be more frequent and more devastating. In a, in a in a meeting of national security ministers in London, one expert is predicting that climate change is a threat that can only be compared to a nuclear, a nuclear disaster. That's how real climate change is. Damage assessments by the Infrastructure Ministry and NEMO will continue. Fortunately, there was no loss of life associated with the November 6th trough. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.